me, Miss Lychee. You're taking longer to recover than when Tao had the herbal medicine, or the time she ate that dictionary, or when she used that brain augmentation electrode device. Just thinking about it makes my brain all oogie. Hey, Bobby Lady! Ew. What's the matter with Furry Girl? She still hasn't recovered from the last episode. I ate those meat buns and I'm better than you! How come the buns didn't cure her? She seems to have an appetite, though. Meow. She clears her plate when she eats, so that's how it appears anyway. Furry girl, are you sure you're not feeling good? I'm not, I swear. You're not? I'd offer you my meat buns, but I already ate them. Miss Lychee? Pardon the intrusion. Oh, that's a different entrance than usual. Yes, Luna's tired, so I'm here instead. You can take turns sleeping. That's convenient. Oh no, that's just what she felt like doing. Our body needs sleep sometimes. Sleeping is the best, meow! Taking a nap in a nice warm spot in the sun is pure bliss! Oh? Do you know a good spot, Tao? Uh, oh... That spot is Tao and Good Guy's secret spot! It's okay, Tao. No one's going to steal your spot. Be quiet! If you come any closer, I'll shoot! Um... This got serious all of a sudden. What's that? Is that Black Squiggly? He looks pale! Please listen to me. I finally managed to get my poems back, but now all he does is try to eat me! Squiggly, now you've shown your true colors! I thought he looked hungry, so I cooked him some food. Uh... Death meal. What? Death meal? <coughs> hey, settle down! Hmm. Is he getting hungry again? <coughs> I can't believe he's obeying like that. Um, what's a death meal? Is it food? It sure sounds like food! Tell Tao! Is it tasty? I can cook some for you if you'd like. Tao didn't know Lacking Lady could cook? I can, and I'm very good at it. You really mean that, don't you? Huh? Of course I am. No! You're not. Aww, you're so mean, Makoto. Are you okay? Makoto still hasn't recovered from getting overwhelmed during the last lesson. She can't seem to hold it together very long. And the yelling seems to be an instinctual reaction. The people tell me my food is great! I don't understand. Today, I got some sweet cat. What's he saying now? Did he eat something weird, Meow? I wonder... It's got me! It's got, got me! Huh? What? Oh no, he ran off! Oh, and I promised to hand him over to Miss Lychee too! Pardon me. Tigger? And Kokonoe? Looks like we got a full house here. Please don't break through my ceiling! You really should put a door on your roof. 
No, nobody does that. Well, that's short-sighted. Having an entrance everywhere is way more convenient. But my clinic isn't a secret base. Hey, Kokonoe, he's getting away. Uh-oh, that's right. No time to chit-chat. Tagger, put out your arm. This? All right, and clicky. Could we stop getting so rowdy in my clinic? Well, shit, he got away. I see you haven't gotten around to unequipping this. Oh, <laughs> that was meowtastic, big guy! You're probably the only one who thinks that. You know, I'll gladly give you some modifications whenever you want. As long as you're willing to change your name. Tao likes the name Tao! As tempting as that is, meow! Still a no? Even after so much time has passed? Meow. Is that what we're talking about now? So, why are you after that thing? It's not a thing. It's Roy. I'm not entirely certain, but it appears that a very important document was stolen. Lately, Kokonoe has been writing things down before she goes to bed. Don't share information they don't need to know, Tager. Let's keep after him. Affirmative. Time to try out this week's amazing surprise equipment. Whoa! When did you add rocket boosters?! Red De I mean, Mr. Tager sure is busy. Well, I hope my clinic doesn't look as bad outside as it does in here. <sighs> hmm? Did I miss anything good, Senna? This place is all jacked up. Not really. Are you sure? Why does everyone look stunned? Hmm? Was that Kokinoe and Tager just now? I wonder what they're doing out there. Oh well, I don't have time to worry about that. Still, that's strange. I was in the middle of taking a shortcut. Meow? Are you God? You're floating! That's not God. It's Selica. Hello, Noelle. What happened to Makoto? Her brain might have short-circuited. Short-circuited? I'm not sure I understand. Shall I use some healing magic? She's probably fine. It's not severe enough to need healing magic. More importantly, why did you emerge from the back of my clinic? Oh, this is a clinic? I was thinking of getting some Chinese food, so I took a shortcut. Hang on, you don't come out of the back of a clinic because you're taking a shortcut. Isn't it faster to travel in a straight line? If you can float, why not go over? Are you lost? No. Though I'm not exactly sure where I am at the moment. Sounds an awful lot like being lost. This is perfect. You're the subject of today's lesson. I am? We were going over it before, but Makoto overloaded. Hmm? Before? I don't understand. Movie lady, do we get to study her? Yes. Why don't we get started? I'm a little concerned that Makoto hasn't recovered, though. It's okay. I can just tell her all the good parts later. That would be helpful, Noelle. Thank you. Let's get started. Meow! Okay. Actually, could you teach from up here, please? What? You want me to teach? You are the most knowledgeable about this subject. I suppose you're right. Sure. But what is it you'd like me to teach? I've never done this before. Selica, you and Ragna traveled together during the Age of the Dark War, didn't you? Yes, I think the first time we met was when I was tending to him. He was weak and covered in wounds. Huh? Wait. What do you mean you met Ragna? <laughs> you must mean someone who looked like Ragna. Right? No, that was definitely the real Ragna. No doubt about it. That can't be. I don't care that his nickname is the Grim Reaper. There's no way he was around during the Dark War. Let's skip that for now. How can you just gloss over something like that? Because we'll never get anywhere otherwise. What was Good Guy doing? At that time, Ragna had lost his memory. What? 
So when you say he lost his memory, you're saying he no longer has his memory? Now? You just repeated yourself, idiot. At first, he'd forgotten everything but his name. For now, let's assume we're talking about the same Ragna. So you traveled with him? I wouldn't say we traveled. It was more of a search for someone. Who? My father. Shuichiro Ayatsuki. No. The name sounds familiar. Oh, well, come on. We learned about him in the last lesson. Did we? Wouldn't Tal remember that? What does that have to do with Ragna? It doesn't really. He was accompanying me. Then a lot of things happened and eventually we confronted the Black Beast. The Black Beast? Wait a minute. And you came out okay? To put it simply, I made it through because Ragna saved me. Good guy is so great! Yes, he is a good guy. No, this doesn't make any sense. Just like Flatso over there said. Flatso? Luna, you don't have to be so honest all the time. Honest? Suck it up, Buttercup. I call Bull. There's no way Ragna was there during that age. Hey, meow, why not? The Dark War was about a hundred years ago. More specifically, I met Ragna in 2106. Weird. Good guy's not an old man. He wouldn't be alive during that time. How's calling she meow again? I promise I'm not lying. You're not? Tao finds that hard to believe. I'm sure that what you say is the truth, Tao Kaka, but what I'm telling you is also true. Won't you believe me? If what Tao is thinking is right, then what Antenna Girl is saying is wrong. But if you're not lying, then Tao believes you, I think. Thank you. Can I ask a question? You said Ragna saved you. How did he manage to save you from the Black Beast? He took the Black Beast head on by himself. Wow. Ragna did? Ragna said he'd come back and he gave me his coat. Uh, and then? Mr. Jubei stayed with him. Later he told me that Ragna had disappeared with the Black Beast and he left me with a sword. I was ready to risk my life, but Ragna stopped me and fought in my place. Ragna did that? By himself? <laughs> What's wrong, Noel? Ragna, the Grim Reaper, risked his life to stop the Black Beast. He was a really great guy. Good guy is always a good guy. But the good guy Tao knows is probably a different guy. This must be a new good guy. Luna's getting confused. Please stop using nicknames for people. Tao can call him whatever Tao wants. Uh, whatever. But the Ragna from now has his sword and jacket, right? Yes. When I saw Ragna again, I was relieved to know that he received them unharmed. Hmm. Luna feels like she understands, but... Hmm. That's a nice story. But it was also really confusing. I'll tell you all something, but it's just for you to know. Selika is the sister who raised Ragna. Are you surprised? Like all, what? Warn me about a spoiler bomb before you say it! Blanchy, what are you doing? Nothing. Just talking to myself about a little something I heard. It's kind of depressing that you talk to yourself. What? But with Selica teaching my lesson, I don't have anything to do. Hey, Boomy Lady! What is it, Tao? Lacking Lady is still crying! Shouldn't we help her? <laughs> no, no, it's alright. It's okay, Lieutenant. Don't cry. But... Both Ragna and I are still here. Yeah. See? Meow. By the way, weren't the six heroes around at that time? What were they like? I'd like to know, too. I wonder if they were really stoic. The six heroes? We can talk about them a little bit. We sort of talked about the six heroes. But we didn't learn much about who they were. We already know that Master Jubei is amazing, though. Mr. Jubei? Yes, he is quite amazing. I am forever in his debt. He's also my brother-in-law. Oh, that's right. Hey, don't think you can act all intimate with Master Jubei just because you're related. We don't act close. We are close. Ooh, you are not allowed to trump Luna like that. You're Cat Person's little sister? You don't look very cat-like. 
That's because I'm a human. Meow. What about the rest of the six heroes? Hmm. It's difficult to say what all of them are like. You could say that Falconheim is pretty stern, very proper. Teremi is... He's hard to describe. Yes, I suppose he is. Mr. Hakuman is quiet. Even though I would talk to him, he'd never reply. However, he had an air about him that seemed similar to Ragna. Hakuman's kind of a badass, isn't he? Yeah, he's not that great at making conversation, though. That just adds to his badassery! He's a good listener. At least I always thought he was listening. Mr. Hakuman hasn't forgotten about you, Platinum. Really? Somehow he doesn't feel like a stranger. It feels like Luna's known him for a long time. That's because you have one of the six heroes in you. Hmm? Trinity was my sister's best friend. We're also very close. She's a very gentle person, but she's very scary when she gets angry. How scary? Tao isn't scared of anything! That's a good question. Imagine, Tao Kaka, that a delicious treat is being dangled in front of you, but just out of reach. Scarier than that. Meow! That is scary! A treat right in front of Tao that Tao can't get? That's terrifying! Tao... Is that really the scariest thing you can think of? Wait, that's only five people. Lastly, there's my sister. She went by the name Nine. She was one of the Ten Sages and was the ninth member, hence the name. The Ten Sages? What's that? Amongst an already highly skilled group of mages, they were a group of the most elite. Ishana was known as the Magic Guild. Ishana? Meowgers? Why don't we go over Ishana now? Hmm, Luna thinks maybe she's heard of Ishana. Or maybe she hasn't. Magic user, huh? Can they use magic? I yes, that's right. That's awesome! But is that different from Arsh Meowgus? We learned that Ars Magus are powers that use Seether, didn't we? Meow. We did, and now you've learned it again. Magic borrows the spiritual power of the natural world for use. Meow. Luna's having trouble following, too. Same here. It's something that you can use even when there's no Seether. Even I don't understand the theory behind it. I just happen to be good at healing magic. Healing magic? Isn't that really amazing? I suppose it could be. I've had these powers for as long as I can remember. So when you came floating in here, was that magic? Yes, my sister would always get anxious because she thought I might fly off somewhere, but floating is second nature for me. If Tao could do that... Hmm... Tao's not sure what she'd do, but it would be convenient! In Ishana, the place we were talking about a moment ago, there were other mages like me. Ishana was referred to as the Magic Guild by people on the outside. So, they're not there anymore? Right now, only two mages exist in the world. No, three, I think. That's not many at all! Ishana is smaller than Kaka Village! That's not actually... But I heard they played a central role during the fight against the Black Beast. Yes, Ishana was a city built on a floating island in the sea. And as you would expect from a place called the Magic Guild, it was protected by a magical barrier. It was a place that couldn't be penetrated by Seether. 
there is only one time that a tear in the barrier was found, and Seether did get in, but even with that it was a safe place. Then Ragna stopped the Black Beast, and during that time countermeasures against the Black Beast were perfected. Ours Magus, right? That's right. Ars Magus was created to battle the Black Beast, and the Azure Grimoire was born. My sister was the central figure responsible for those. Your sister was pretty incredible, Antenna Girl! Thank you. Before facing the Black Beast, things were so mild. My sister was very intimidating to many of those around her and was apparently difficult to befriend, but she always cared for me. My sister, Trinity, and I would sit at a cafe and talk for hours. I seem to remember her getting really angry when a boy was flirting with me as she sipped her coffee that was mostly milk and sugar. I see. So in Ashana, there were people who could use magic. And there were lots of people who drank really sweet coffee. I see. No, the only one drinking sweet coffee was Celica's sister. Oh, it was? Tao doesn't really understand Ashana. Well, it's nothing more than a history lesson now. But I think I understand more about who you are than I did before, Salika. Oh, you do? <laughs> Tao didn't really get it. Meow. Yes, well, it might be hard to understand the whole picture from a short lesson like that. Why don't you read the novel version? The novel? Yes, I think you'll understand much more if you do. Okay, Tao will read the novel. Forget reading a novel. Can Tao even read? Tao can read a novel. Uh, hey, booby lady, what's a novel? It's a book with lots of words in it. Meow, that's a high hurdle for Tao to jump. That makes Tao sleepy. I should have figured. I'll read it to you, Tao. You all should definitely read it on your own, though. Quick thinking throwing that plug in there, Miss Lychee. How much are you getting paid for that? That's not very nice. It was an honest recommendation. Any money received is purely a gratuity. Yes, Senna. It's an important story for Luna and you, too. Anyway, let's keep studying to fill in the gaps. Earth to Makoto! Are you still out of it? <laughs> Has Furry Girl been like this the whole time? That's troubling. I wonder if she'll be okay. Answering the call? I have arrived! Dun dun dun! You're in a great mood, Kokonoi. Are you happy that you got your diary back? Don't be an ass, Tager. I'm just like I always am. More importantly, retrieve those two over there. Roger that. Huh? What are you grabbing me for? Well, for Makoto. I thought I'd take her out of overload mode. As for you, Noelle? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you don't know what kind of effect having too much knowledge in your brain is going to have. I thought I'd tamper with you a bit. Rocket boosters? That's not
not a bad idea. I'll consider it. No! I don't want to be rebuilt! You won't be heavy like Tager. Smaller rocket boosters should be adequate. I don't need them! Professor, please don't tease her like that. Suck it up, Noelle. I'm just messing with you. You're not gonna rebuild her? But if you're giving Lacking Lady Rocket Booster boobs, I'll need to give her a new name! Hang on a sec. You can do that? Wait, you aren't actually considering this, are you? The amount of work I'd have to put into getting a modification like that to function properly isn't worth my time. Now, if you wanted to put missiles in there, I'd consider it. But there's really no point in increasing how much fatty tissue you have on your chest. Aww. Don't be sad, Lieutenant. Modifying yourself like that isn't good. Renouncing modifications like that doesn't make me look good. Oh, I'm sorry, Tager. I didn't mean it like that. I know. What's wrong, Tager? Were you shocked? No, I'm not built to feel such things. You know that better than anyone, Kokonoi. You're right. But for now, you better wipe off the oil that's leaking from your eyes. Someone must be cutting dust in my onions. Poor Tager. You've got some wires crossed, don't you? Was someone cutting onions in here, or did you get dust in your eye? I... yes. That's what I meant. Hey, Tager! We don't have time to sit around and chit-chat. But, Kokonoi, weren't you the one that started the conversation? I'm sorry, did you say something? No, nothing. These two have too much information crammed into their heads. I wonder what the most effective way to mess with their memories is. Mess with? What are you gonna do? You don't need to do anything to Tau or Platinum. Platinum was there when it happened. And Tau doesn't need any tinkering. She's probably already forgotten it all. Tail Lady is rude! Tau remembers! Meow! Fine then. What was the Magic Guild's other name? Meow? Shina? Shina? You mean the Snake Bearer from that one series? Wasn't it more effort for you to remember that than it would have been to just... Never mind. That's fine. Looks like I don't have to mess with your memory, Tao. Tager, we're leaving. Roger. Well, that was a mess. Is that all there was to the lesson? Yes, Tao. I think that's enough. Well, that Chinese restaurant awaits, so I'll be off. Wait. Since you're already here, could I interest you in some meat buns? Meat buns? You mentioned wanting to go to the restaurant, so I figured I'd just whip some up. Well, seeing as that's all I was after, I think I'll take you up on that. Shoot! So close! We can all eat together! Using your head sure builds an appetite! Uh, remind me when you used your head again? Don't worry. I figured that lesson would wipe everyone out, so I made a bunch. Have as many as you'd like. Meow! Booby Lady's the 